Hey, what's going on guys? It's JC from Most Be Effects today, and I really hope you enjoyed that edit for my recent trip to New York. For those of you with a sharp eye, you would have noticed the dynamic transition used to really make the edit pop. Well, that's exactly what we're going through today with the latest pack, M Transition Light Wipe. This is the ultimate toolkit designed to help you incorporate that radiance and energy into your edit. So let's dive into it. So you want to install the pack via the M installer, you want to head inside the Transitions tab that's placed in the Effects section. And here's where you're going to find the 25 transitions. These transitions are 100% fusion made without any external textures. And that just means you have further customization in the colors, the seeds, and the direction to perfectly match your edits. But after testing these out, I can confidently say that the team done a great job making these look good by default. Now the way these transitions differ is by their color scheme and the angle of the wipe. So the best way to really learn which ones you do like and which one will work on your footage is just by hovering over on top of the transitions here. Then you can start to get a feel of which would work for your project. However, once you apply the transition, you still have the ability to customize what that actually looks like. So if we take the city rush transition, for example, the first thing you'll need to bear in mind is that your clips are long enough for the transition. Right now, if I try to apply the transition to the clip, there's this red line here because the second clip is at the beginning. And that just means there's not enough footage for the transition to work. So what I'll need to do instead is move into the clip by at least a second. That way I can apply the transition. And this will be the same for the first clip if we're at the end of it. Then diving into how to really fine tune these transitions, we're going to go into the inspector tab on the right. Now, because of the nature of these transitions, they actually work better when they're at a shorter duration than the default. When I apply the transitions between the two clips, the standard duration is one second. And that's just a bit too long for these transitions. So instead, we're going to go into the inspector tab and decrease that duration to around 8 to 12 frames. I personally like the lower side and going around 8, so we'll go for that for now. And then I'm going to click set as default duration. This will ensure that as we place other transitions, they will all be set at this length. Alternatively, we could go into preferences, user, editing, and set the default transition here. And the reason we do this is because if you look at these two examples, the wipe style transition works a little bit better when the duration is shorter, just makes it that much more seamless. Next at this point is where I would toggle the 4K quality box if you're working on a 4K timeline. This is going to ensure that the quality and the sizing of the transition is correct. Next, we have the transition controls, which is the overarching control center for the entire transition. Now, this will vary depending on the transition you're using, but they all pretty much do the same thing where it gives you the option to flip the direction of the wipe, the footage movement option, which allows the transition to have a little bit of movement to your shot if your footage is stationary. Then we have the flash controls and finally the blur. So play around with these sliders to see what results you can get. And if there's anything you do want to reset back to default, all you need to do is double click on the option name and it will snap right back. Then in the next section, we have the texture controls. And this is going to be the main place you control the finer details of the light wipe transition. As you can see, this tab is a lot more detailed with the amount of options, but don't be overwhelmed by this. If I go halfway through the transition, you can see there's quite a lot going on. But each of these tabs just control the color and the texture, making it super easy to customize. As I move one of the sliders up or down, you can see instantly the difference that it's making. So it's actually really easy to get used to this and dial in the look you want. And just like I mentioned earlier, I personally think the team done a great job making these ready to use at the default, especially considering there are so many different color options. And that just means you don't have to dive into this section at all, just saving you time. The only thing that would need to change is this the direction of the light wipe to match the movement of the footage. Lastly, we have the grain controls. And this is going to be the thing that adds the extra detail. It does slow down your machine, so be aware of that if you are struggling for playback. And that's pretty much how simple it is to use the transitions. Now, one other thing I do want to cover is the custom transitions, because this is really useful when you don't want to use the different colors that the pack provides. The custom transition actually creates a blend of colors based on the footage. And that just makes it even more seamless and a great addition that still has that light wipe energy, but isn't as obvious. But before I do end this video, the main thing I do want to get across is that this transition pack isn't limited to one particular style. It's a super versatile pack that can match multiple different styles. This video played in the intro is a medium paced cinematic travel video. However, another style where this pack really suits is a graphic heavy kinetic style energy like this. Now I do have to mention that during that sequence, not all the transitions were from this pack in particular, but with the mixture of M transition light wipe and a few other graphics from motion VFX, you can really create a dynamic edit. But to sum it all up, make the transition quick, match the movement of the footage to keep the flow, and if you don't want to set the colors manually, the custom preset is the best choice. 
So I hope this overview has been helpful for you to better understand how to use the pack. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please drop them down in the comments below or head to the website at motionbfx.com. I've been JC and this has been your M Transitions Light Wipe Overview for DaVinci Resolve and I'll see you in the next one.